<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on this show. I'm here to talk about some NFL. Talk about some news here. So first thing I'll talk about is a uh, Patriots linebackers coach Jerome Mayo was alongside Bill Belichick for all of New England's offensive coordinator interviews last week. Per sources, a good sign of Mayo's growing role with the team. So the team met with five offensive coordinator candidates over a video conference. So they interviewed, uh, basically met with five offensive coordinator candidates uh, with Jerron Mayo alongside Bill Belichick. This is a very interesting, very interesting here with Jerron Mayo. Uh, he might be having a more of a role with the team. It sounds like sounds a lot like Mayo's the new next in line when Belichick retires, and he might be an assistant head coach. And when Belichick retires, he could be the lead candidate to be head coach because it's interesting. He's getting a lot more involved with these uh, decisions, and it's pretty clear what role he's playing right now. And he's only thirty six, so he could definitely be an assistant head coach. Maybe you could hire Bill O'Brien. He's a decent. He's a bad head coach, but he's a, def, a decent offensive coordinator. But we'll see. But it's true and really fascinating that Jerome Mayo is clearly respected like inside that organization. Uh, Jordan Phillips says he was playing with a torn rotator cuff and will get surgery and be ready for training camp. So he's going to be uh, getting some sur getting surgery. He, he also got concussed, I think, mid-game, I think, because he had a pretty tough collision, and it like, looked like he was trying to shake off the cobwebs. So, he tore his rotator cuff, most likely. They're all, those injuries are awful, and they take time to heal. And it's not even an excuse for why they lost. It's just, a t ro torn rotator cuffs are some of the worst injuries. Uh, the... The Chargers will interview Rams senior offensive assistant Greg Olson for their vacant offensive coordinator job tomorrow, a uh, source said. Olson is one of the most experienced offensive coordinators around. So the Chargers are going to interview the Rams senior offensive assistant. So you're you're so so they're basically repla replacing Lombardi with Olson is like well replacing Olson with Lombardi. But, Chargers offense could be a problem for the West if they hire him. But, I don't know. I just don't think that he's that good of an offensive coordinator. Like, how is it possible to downgrade from, what is it, Joe Lombardi was their offensive coordinator? Like, their game on the line, if they play the Bengals... Imagine they play the Bengals next year. Uh, they just have two curl routes and a running back. Just go up the field. And two near the sideline getting out of bounds. Oh my lord. Yeah. The Broncos have con concluded their first round of, of their head coach interview process. And owner and, owner and CEO Greg Penner is now narrowing the impressive pool. The next step is to schedule second interviews, and while none is firmly set, the hope is to finalize a schedule in the coming days. So, a bit of a nothing burger this is. So, a bit of a nothing. So, basically, this tweet's a bunch of nothing. Sean, Sean Payne's about to get that bag. But running it to the second round interviews with Sean Payne on, on deck is almost an insult. Because I, I think uh, they should just hire him now. The Ravens are interviewing Broncos wide receiver coach slash passing game op, op coordinator Chad O'Shea for their offensive coordinator job today per source. Can't wait for one of the candidates out. Candidates out. Lamar for not being involved in the process. <laughs> yeah. Really not feeling anyone from this franchise, man. Um, I don't know why they want to get... I don't know why the Ravens want to get Chad O'Shea.
So Sean Payton's going to meet with the Broncos later this week. Uh, that Sean Payton, he's scheduled a second interview with the Broncos this week. Um, so, after the another 12-win season, the Cowboys lost last night. Um, they also, after another 12-win season, they also featured a playoff win. Um, they, the Cowboys lost last night. Jerry Jones was still asked about Coach Mike, Mike McCarthy's job status after they lost. Uh, they're going to keep Mike McCarthy, according to him. He's 30-20 and, 20, he's 30 and 20 record as a head coach in Dallas. So, they're going to keep him. So... His job is not in danger. Not he's on the hot seat. Um the Chargers will interview Titans tight end coach Luke Steckel for their office coordinator job this week, per sources. Uh, he's a fascinating move. He's 37, a Princeton grad, highly intelligent, intelligent, and widely respected by players and peers. I don't know why the hell they're interviewing a tight ends coach, and especially if he was the Titans. Because... Yeah, because of, oh yeah, because the Titans off, because the Titans offense was a fucking juggernaut this year, like, come on. Um, so, Christian McCaffrey should be, quote unquote, all good with his calf issue, that's why he didn't play much in the second half. He did have that one touchdown, but he didn't really get a lot of carries, but his calf issue should be all good, you saw him warming it up. He did have 35 rushing yards, 22 reception yards, had a rushing touchdown, but yeah. Um, Cowboys running back Tony Pollard suffered a fractured leg last night and a high ankle sprain in the second quarter, which really re really shortened the Cowboys, I believe, uh, offensive playbook. And it's a three to four month recovery, most likely for Pollard. He's going to get paid though, still. But that's that's a big time injury. Uh, and uh, Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes is dealing with a high ankle sprain. He suffered a, that high ankle sprain. In the game, he did go out for a drive, but he came back in. So, Mahomes should be good. He, he he said he'll be good to go in the AFC Championship as as expected. So, he'll be good to go in the AFC Championship game. Well, Mr. Mahomo. So. Forty Niners and Eagles is the NFC title game. And the Bengals Chiefs is the AFC title game. So we got two good uh, ch conference championship games coming up uh, Sunday. Yeah, but what a what a way to end the game. What a Cowboys play. What a Cowboys play to end it. Bengals coach Zach Taylor. It is tough because they have to formulate the plan for coin tosses. Formulate the plans for coin formulate the plans for neutral site games and we just hate keep screwing up for everybody i hate that for people who have to endure all the log logistical issues we keep screwing it up better send those refunds out better send better send those refunds out for people that thought there would be a neutral site uh afc championship So, uh, let's find some more news. Brock Purdy is staking his claim to the starting job in 2023, and he's making his case to be the starting quarterback in 2023 after now 7-0 as a starter, including two playoff wins. So he's definitely making an argument. Uh, Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley, the Giants hope to have them back last year. Daniel Jones really this year, only five interceptions regular season, and nine games, I believe, by a turnover. And Saquon Barkley was pretty really good this year. I'd definitely have bounced back here. So I think the Giants should keep them both. And the Colts have interviewed a lot of, a lot of people with Mike Kafka. That said, back with the Giants. 
So the Colts are going to interview the New York Giants women's coordinator and Mike Kafka and David's coordinator Mark Went Wenton Mark Mark Wink Martindale, and and so Jeff Saturday's still an option, but those are some of the Colts, some of the people Colts will be interviewed. Uh, it's not just the corner years in today's and yesterday's games drawing interest to fill coaching vacancies. So sources say the Jets request permission to interview Bills office quarterback coach Joe Brady for the rank office coordinator job. It's unclear if Brady would take it, given how much he loves Buffalo. So the, the Jets request permission to interview the Bills as quarterback for their vacant office coordinator job. I don't know. I don't know. Brady's decent, but not great. Uh, the Bill Watson coordinator interview with the Panthers on Saturday as they restarted their interview process. So they're on the coordinator interviewed with the interviewed with the Panthers. That'd be a really great uh, pickup for the Panthers. Really great pickup, in my opinion. So the Bengals are preparing for a for Joe Burrow extension as off field business thrives. So they're Definitely going to sign Mr. Burrow to a big contract extension. Now, the Cowboys want to keep Tony Pollard and the franchise tag is an option. So they're considering uh, keep getting the franchise tag. As for the 49ers, a massive Nick, Nick Bosa extension is a priority this offseason. He's the sack leader this year. The 49ers should definitely give Nick Bosa a massive contract extension. Alright, that's all the NFL, ladies and gentlemen, so until next time, I have a lot. Peace.